Hello teachers, I am making this video because uh, some people aren't aware that you can create and award badges to students as they complete lessons or modules in Canvas. I use it all the time and my students really love it. Completing a lesson um, fun and they can see their badge collection grow and grow and I want to show you how to do this. It's pretty simple. Uh, however, the very beginning steps, the first time you create, create accounts, connect things, that can be confusing. So I want to walk you through that process and show you a few different ways that you can make your badges. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do uh, is create an account with badger.com so open a tab and just type in badger b a d g r dot com uh, it will take you to info dot badger dot com so if you don't have an account create an account I do so I'm going to sign in <clears throat> and uh, uh, once you have a Badger account uh, and you click on this icon up in this corner, your screen should look like this. And we're going to come back to this screen in just a moment. Uh, while this is open, I'm going to create a new tab or go back to a, the original tab in Canvas. I've signed in. I'm in a uh, Canvas class that I've created. And I'm going to go to Settings. And then at the top, I'm going to click Apps. And I am going to find, and I don't, I don't know if everyone's look, looks like this, but these are the different apps that um, work with Canvas and there's a huge selection right here of Badger apps. Now there is one thing called Badger Pathways that's not what we need we just need like Badger uh, I'm in the United States so I would use Badger United States. Okay once I click on that I'm going to add the app and I've already got this added, so I'm not going to add it again. But when you do, it's going to ask for the uh, configuration codes, the shared secret codes, and things like that. Now I'm going to access mine by clicking here. Badger. There we go. So this is where I want to put my consumer key, uh, shared secret, and that's what I, what I need. So in order to get that information, when I go back to the tab uh, for badger.com, I'm going to go to the circle here in the top right corner, and when I click it, one of the options is app integrations and you will see canvas LTI that's what we want and this is where you're going to find your consumer key your shared secret and the config URL and that's what you're going to copy and paste in the Canvas app settings. Okay, now that you have that created, what you're going to find is that over here, the menu on the left, uh, you will have badges showing up 
Now, I am elementary, and so I find it much easier. I hide almost everything in this. Otherwise, they're clicking, clicking, clicking. They have no idea what they're doing. So I hide everything except for a very few things here. But badges, I definitely leave. Now, this is my view. When students click on badges in your classroom, because now that you've done this, they will have a, a badges page. This is where they're going to see their list of badges that they have earned. So my screen looks different than their screen. But what they will see up here is Badger, because this is, we've linked it. Now, over here, the type that badges can be for Canvas. For this, because it's the free uh, component of Badger, it is only um, issuing badges after you complete a module, so, or a lesson. Now, that will work if you have mastery paths because I use mastery paths with my lessons. And so uh, you will, no matter the mastery path, as long as they've completed the module near the end, you will um, issue them a badge. All right, so I'm going to show you now, I have a, uh, a module that I made called Badges with Badger. I just made one up. And I wanted to show you what that will look like. So anytime you add a module, it will add it to this list. You can see here, I have one badge already assigned. And I'm going to click this down arrow to assign a badge. And I have lots of badges that I use. But, oops, uh, I'm going to create a new badge. And I'm going to give it a name, Badger Badge. Um, and criteria, you do have to put this in, even though it's always going to be complete module. Uh, you can type, um, you will earn this badge when completing the Badger Badge module. All right. And in this box, there is a Use Badge Studio. And I'll click on it. It is very simple, but you've got these different shapes that you can select. You can choose different colors. And then there is a very limited um, graphics section. And you can create a very simple badge this way. I don't use Badger's um, Studio. I usually create my own. You can create, it can be any shape, but you want it uh, simple. I, If I have a badge already created, I would click here to add it. I want to show you two places where you can also make some badges. You can use Canva to make badges if you um, have a Canva account. Uh, badge Maker, let's see, no, Make Badges. This one is pretty simple, but what it does is it creates, you know, it's got some basic shapes. It's got some basic icons. You can create different borders. You can choose color. And you can choose uh, text or no text. It's very simple, but it's effective. I use, I create my badges, the graphics in Canva, and then what I use, this is badge, make badges, uh, M-A-K-E-B-A-D-G dot E-S for this site. I create my graphics in Canva, and then I use 
onlinebadgemaker.com. What I like about this one is that it creates a 3D with the, the shine and the shimmer so it looks more three-dimensional it looks real and so my students really like that once I have a an image I'm going to add the image so I'm going to choose and I think I'm just going to make use the Badger um, logo and then I will fill in the circle and I can add text I can add shapes you can do layers change the color of the background whatever and uh, I'm going to create and save the image all right so here's my badge so it's got the highlight and so it makes it look more three-dimensional okay so I have a badge created and I'm going back to my canvas account uh, so click here and I think mine's in the downloads there it is so I've uploaded the graphic and I click create new badge class created if I go down here badges with badger that's my module my course here's the badge and so I am ready to go so I'm going to click on modules and Um, sorry oh it's at the bottom all right so I have a, a, a basic class I just made up something so I've got my badger page information sample page um, badger assignment I can have a badger quiz and now I need to add the badge of completion so once I have my module like I normally would I'm going to click the plus sign and I'm going to use external tool and I'm going to click badger and then add item and it will create submit badge evidence and I'll publish it. So submit bad badge evidence. The screen will look like this. And so when your students um, go through a module, and this is the last page, it will spin and think, and then it will assign them. It'll come up with a message like you've been awarded this badge, and it shows the badge. So this is the badge page where they know that they have earned this badge. When they click on badges under the home over here, their screen will show their badger badge fairly large. And that's all they'll see. They won't see the graphs and the charts and all of that. They will see their large badges add up, rows and rows of badges as they earn them. So that is how you set up Badger for your courses, how to create badges, and uh, how to assign them and add badge uh, completion to your modules. Now, that, all of that was a one-time deal. Each time you start the school year, uh, if you bring in a module that you've used before, you do have to go back and assign the badge to that activity or that lesson but you do not have to go back to badger.com you don't have to remember the shared secret or the configuration or anything like that I hope that helps and let me know if you have any questions I am NOT the expert but I have used it quite a bit have a good evening